Good morning. God is good. It's good to be with you once again. Amen. 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 Let's go to the throne. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just praise you. We magnify you, Lord. We thank you for your grace. We thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for a new year. We thank you, Lord, for a new beginning. Now, Heavenly Father, have your way. Yes, Lord. In everything that we do and say, pour your spirit out upon us, God. Yes. And minister through us and cause, Lord, the words of our lips, Heavenly Father, to to encourage and to build up the people and to yes. glorify you. In Jesus' name In we Jesus pray. Name. Amen. 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 Well, you know, God is just good. Yes, he is. And God is giving us the opportunity, if you will, uh, to live above. We have to be a people who purpose to live yes. above, to yes. pursue, pursue after the Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's go, if you will, with me to uh, Luke, the 10th chapter, and the 19th verse. Amen. Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Amen. It said nothing. Nothing. Right? But what I see is, is that too many times people get caught up in fear. That's the truth. You know what I mean? We need to understand that God wants us to live life above. Come on. And God wants us to be victorious in life. And oftentimes our perspective, if Come you will, on. when we start off in life, we have bright dreams and hopes and all kinds of desires. Yeah. But then, but then, you know, stuff happens along Amen. the way. Life happens. And, you know, God wants us to live above that fear point because there's a point in our life uh, that we get to uh, that makes us fearful. There are things that happen in our life that make us fearful. And God wants us to live above that point. And, you know, it's the enemy's job to get you to that point. And every time we say, just go ahead, you can do it. You're going to be okay. And you try it one time and you're okay. And that lets your guard down of being, of standing in the place above that point of fear. Amen. And, you know, really what it is, is that we have to make up our mind. Yes, we do. How we're going to live. Come on. you got to make up your mind what perspective you're going to take. Amen. You know, you need to understand that we are complexity. We're yes. complex. Yes. We have a spirit, soul, and, and a body. body. Come on. Right? Our, our spirit, if you're saved, you're connected in communion with God. Come our on. body is, is, is living the effects of this world and yes. the effects of the fallen man, sinful nature. It's decaying, if you will. But our soul, the body, and the uh, spirit, the flesh and the spirit, war over our soul because yes, our soul is where we house our mind, our will, our intellect. And we have to make up our mind how we're going to live, whose side we're going to live on, yes. and 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 whether we would have joy in the journey, yes, or we would suffer being struggling and going through defeat. Well, you know what? God has given us the power and the authority in His Word that we need to do that to trample on uh, scorpions and and serpents. He's given us the power and the authority to walk over those things that would cause us to stumble. We just have to tap into his word so that you can walk in the power and the authority of what God is saying. And sometimes we miss that when we're going through trial or tribulation because we're so busy trying to fix it ourselves. Look, when we begin to try to fix it ourselves, that means that fear is beginning to come into play. Because you know what? God has already prepared what we need for whatever the situation is. And so God wants us to stay at the point where we have a balanced life in God, amen? And we're not up and we're not down and we're not here and we're not there, but we are walking forward even in times of trouble and times of struggle. Don't change your mind because a situation popped up, amen? Don't change your mind because something just happened automatically, but you've got to be able to stick and stay to what the word of God is saying, stick amen? You've got to be able to stick and stay because God doesn't want us tossed to and fro with every wind of doctrine that comes along, but he wants us to be able to stand on the word of God, amen? You know, as we learn to stand, we learn to stay in connection yes. and communion with Come God. On. You know, we, we, we make up a mi- our mind, if you will, in our soul, we yes. make up our mind that we are going yes. to listen to the spirit. Yes. That we're going to yield ourselves to the Spirit. Amen. Because if not, we need to understand that it's the devil's job 
if you will, to kill, steal, and destroy. And, destroy. Yes, sir. and 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 Christ came that we might have life and yeah. that life more, more abundantly. abundantly. And yes. so when we purpose that we're going to live for the king, when we purpose that we're going to live above the we're, we're the gonna look fray. up. Come on. We're gonna live above the common fray because everybody and everything else, when Amen. they get caught up in the common fray, they lose perspective, yes. if you will, and they think about either what they lost or the fear of this and the fear of that. Amen. And yet God wants us to live above these things. Yes, he does. And so God is giving us the victory. You know, I just hear this morning that song is that says, victory is mine. Amen. Victory is mine. I told Satan to get behind me because victory, when? Today is, is mine. mine. Amen. Victory is not in the future, but God has already given us the victory. Yeah. We just have not taken it. Amen. God is, if somebody gives you something, you have to receive it. So we, some of us just haven't received the victory that God has given us. We should be walking differently, talking differently, acting differently, because God has already done uh, what he said he would do. And we have to be able to walk in that. And that means that we need to take the time and get in the word. And when you spend more time with God, you're less fearful of the things in this life. Amen. You know, God has given us a brand new year, still in the pandemic, but God has given us another year and he brought us through. A whole year almost of that. And he has still been faithful to us. And he's still good to us. And so God is just trying to say, look, pay attention to me. I got this. Walk with me. I got this. And that's where we are. We have to get to the place to know God has got it. Let's just trust him. Amen. And, and walk in his favor. And walk in his favor. <laughs> you know, and, and stop Amen. letting the lion's fear. Come on. The fear of what you hear. That's right overwhelming because there's so much stuff that you're hearing either through the internet or the or or, or just on the news or from that's people right. that's avenues. generating fear the lion's fear is the fear of what you hear because you know just like a lion would roar his 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 roar would discombobulate his prey amen and the prey would oftentimes would be so fearful rather than running away amen. they'd run too amen and so fear oftentimes will cause you to hurt yourself yeah it sure will. So, you know what? We want you guys to have a blessed day, and we will see you at 7 for 7 tomorrow. Be blessed.